So today I'm going to be showing you how to get the game Dragon's Dogma 2 running on your Apple Silicon Mac. So unfortunately there is no Mac port of the game and we can't run the Windows version through Parallels or Crossover, the normal way we'd run these Windows titles. However, the game can be streamed using a service called Boosteroid. And of course this isn't exactly the same as running the game on your actual machine. All of the data is actually going to be streamed through the internet, through the cloud, and it's going to work a little bit like video streaming. All the graphics and data are being rendered on a remote server and we're just viewing it on our Mac screen. But the latency isn't actually too bad at all as I'm going to show you today. It's actually extremely playable, especially if you live near one of Boosteroid's data centers. So today I'm going to show you how all of that works. We're going to be installing the native ARM Boosteroid app for Apple Silicon and Macs. We'll be connecting it up with your Steam account. We're going to be loading up this free to play game and getting it working as well as possible on Apple Silicon hardware. So the first thing that we're going to do is to click the link at the top of the description. Every time that you sign up, I'm going to receive a small commission and you'd be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and sign up. So just click on the sign in button. And if you don't have an account already, then just click this button here, create an account. Then what we're going to do here is to type in our email address password. So once we've entered those details, we need to go into our email account and we need to click the link that's been emailed to us in order to activate our account. So just go ahead and sign back into your account. So one thing we should check before we actually pay any money is whether your internet connection is fast enough. And handily, once you've signed in, there's a new button on the top right here, which is basically a connection test button. So go ahead and press the start button here. This service is going to work best if you're located near to one of these data centers. For example, this part is North America. And a lot of the servers are also based in Western Europe as well. As long as you're near one of these servers, then you're going to have a decent connection. Here I'm showing getting 65 megabit, which is over the recommended 25. And my latency is 15 milliseconds, which is under the 20 millisecond recommendation. So my connection is good enough. However, if you're not getting a good signal, then I do recommend switching from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. So my MacBook is actually connected by Ethernet at the moment. So this is a USB-C to gigabit Ethernet hub. And I'm connected to my router via this cable. So this is going to be the best way to actually connect to your local internet. So once we're sure our internet is good enough, what we're going to do is to go back and press the subscribe and play button. So here you have a choice of the standard or the ultra edition. So the main difference is that the standard edition only goes up to 1080p 60 frames per second, but the ultra edition allows you to go up to 4k and 120 FPS and more. So personally, I recommend doing a standard edition one month just to try it out, but you will get significant savings if this is the right thing for you. If you actually sign up for a 12 month contract, Contract, this is going to be substantially less. So what I want to do is go ahead and press the subscribe button and then all you need to do is to accept the terms and conditions and then enter your credit card details and then make a payment. Another thing that you should probably do as well is to go into your account details and then go ahead and synchronize your Steam account. So here under Steam we're going to press the connect button here and we need to go ahead and sign into our Steam account in order for these two things to link up. So here I'm going to do is press the sign in button here and now all of these games are now synchronized to the Boosteroid account and many of those games Games can now be played through Boosteroid through cloud streaming. So once you've actually signed up, it's time to actually download the Boosteroid software. So this is going to make it substantially easier to use rather than trying to log in through your web browser. So here at the top, there's an option here, Boosteroid on your device. If you click on this link, it's going to take us to the download Boosteroid page. I will also leave a link to this in the description as well. And since we're running this on an Apple Silicon Mac, we want the native ARM version of the client software. So just go ahead and click on this button, download for macOS M1, M2, or of course M3 as well, and then click save. Then we're going to go ahead and open up Finder and then go to our downloads folder. And then we're going to find Boosteroid install ARM64, double click on this. And then we're going to drag and drop Boosteroid into our applications folder. So within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find our Boosteroid app, which we're going to find here, and then double click. Here it's saying it's an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure we want to open it? Press open. So here it's asking us to give permission for Boosteroid to accept keystrokes press this button, open system settings, then under privacy and security and under input monitoring, we're actually going to toggle and allow Boosteroid to accept those keystrokes, then go ahead and type in your password. Here we're going to press quit and reopen. That's going to go ahead and reopen Boosteroid. If Boosteroid doesn't reopen, just click on Boosteroid again to load it up. So now what we need to do is to go ahead and log into the account that we created and subscribe to. So here's asking us whether we want to share app crash log reports, click allow, and then here we have the change log, press OK. And now we're basically ready to go. So now that Boosteroid is installed, what we're going to do now is do a search for Dragon's Dogma 
2. And this needs to be added to your Steam account first in order for this to work. It needs a license. And uh, if you don't have that added already, you can also pick it up from Games Planet. You're going to get a 10% discount at the time of recording. And in the future as well, this is a great place to get further discounts. Often this goes on sale too. So you can make a purchase of Dragon's Dogma, add it to your Steam account. And even though this is a Windows only game, we can play it on a Mac through Boostroids. So anyway, once Dragon's Dogma 2 has been added to your Steam account, we can click here, install and play, and it can go ahead and launch. So now the game is loading, preparing your save data. So saying here, game installation, just press accept here. It's not actually installing on a computer. It's actually downloading onto the cloud server. So don't worry about that. So here we're going to agree to the end user licensing agreement, press accept, and then we just need to wait for this to load up. Press OK. So you can see here Dragon's Dogma 2 is loaded up on the Steam library and has actually come up in the background here. So just wait for that to finish. So for some reason, this window isn't full screened, but we'll full screen this by pressing Alt and then Enter. And here it's saying compiling shaders. So just wait for that to finish. So now we're just going to go through the standard setup. We're just going to continue here, confirm the brightness, etc., confirm our age, and accept all of the standard policies. We're going to scroll down and then accept the uh, notices here. And we're going to enable network features as well. Also, it's a good idea to change some of the graphic settings here. I'm just going to change this from 720p to 1080p. Keep this resolution. And we're running this on the high settings. And then here, I'm going to press start. And then we're going to start a new game. Okay, I'm just going to do a latency test with my DualSense controller here. So here, I can press the jump button. And it's responding fairly quickly. So it's not quite native, local-like. However, it's pretty much close enough. Here, I'm going to grab this boulder and uh, it doesn't feel too bad. So as you can see, Booster Ride does run pretty well on a Mac as long as you have a good internet connection and you can get all of these very decent games running on your Apple Silicon hardware. If you have any other games which you think run well through Booster Ride, then please make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.